Hey everybody, Ann here, and I've got a really busy day ahead of me, and so let's see what I'm up to. First off, I've got the rest of this back wall and part of this wall finished with insulation, and I'm just covering this up like this uh, with this little thing so I don't have to look at the insulation because standing the drywall up this way, I can't do it because it's too tall. It, it runs into those little things up there. Um, but this corner here is my bathroom area. I put my little party potty over there and it's also going to be my shower area. So hopefully today I can get my shower built. I don't know. Here's what I'm using for supplies. I've got a big old tub that I can actually stand in. It was $4.97 at Walmart. I've got my trusty garden sprayer, a hula hoop, and a cheap shower curtain, and some zip ties, and some hooks. So, hmm, let's see how I can put this together. Alright, the first part is I just attached the shower curtain to the hula hoop with well, zip ties. Why? Because I had them and I didn't feel like spending extra money to buy proper shower hook thingies. But look at that. It's not long enough. My shower curtain isn't long enough. So you know what? I forgot. I had this plastic one in my van. So let's see if I can make that work. Yep, works perfectly. Just zip tied it all around. You know what? I could have used that for to put over the plants. But instead I'm using it for my shower curtain. So I trimmed the little zip ties off and it goes all the way around and it's perfect. So how am I going to attach it? Well, you know what? I just used this little hook here on this stud right through the curtain, yes, because that's all only temporary. And then over here I had to use this kind of hook and I'll show you why in just a second. See, the hula hoop was not close enough to that stud so I had to figure out a way to secure it up. And that's how I did it, with yet more zip ties. I love, love, love zip ties. So there it is. It does stay erect with just those two little things hooking onto it, but I'm a little concerned that that may come down um, because there's nothing attaching it to anything right there. But, huh, I don't know. It fits down in the bucket nicely. And so all I did is I pulled it a little bit tighter on that end and even a little bit tighter on the other end too and that seemed to make it a little bit firmer a little bit more steady but there's still a little play in it so i don't know hmm. <laughs> what shall i do but it's looking good so far yep and there it is all the way to the top i'm standing inside of it right now and it goes up way over my head and there's plenty of the shower curtain down into the tub so I won't get water all over the place when I'm taking a shower. I dig it. I dig it a lot. And outside is my little spray thingy. Now I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this because really that needs to be a little bit higher for it to work but I'll figure it out. And so what I did just to kind of make it a little bit more secure is I put a little hook in the back and I put it a little lower than the other two things that were connecting it and hooked a zip tie, another zip tie up to it and pulled it real tight so that the back part is just a little bit lower than the front part um, and it seems to keep it up pretty well now. Uh, it's not ideal. I mean, I could attach it to maybe the roof or something one of the studs up there but I don't know if I really want to do that so here it is my beautiful shower it is temporary yeah it's it's kind of ghetto it's kind of janky but you know what it's gonna work some way or the other I'll be able oh and there's my porta potty oh and I bought this little nine dollar clothing rod thing and I put a yet another shower curtain on the back of it to kind of enclose this area give me a little privacy so I don't need to close the front window curtain every time I need to you know, go potty or take a shower. So there it is. That's it for now. And I think it'll work. So there you have it, guys. My janky little shower. But, you know, it's not going to be permanent. It's not what I want in there. I want a proper shower in there um, eventually. But whatever I put up now, I want it to be very temporary and easy to take back down. And you can take a few screws out of the 
studs and get the drywall up and then build a proper shower later on. But before I can move on with other things, I have to meet my very most basic needs. I have shelter, I have food, I have clothes, um, I'm safe, and I need to keep clean. And although baby wipes and bird baths and all that kind of stuff work okay, and I've been washing my hair with a shower sprayer, but I really just want to have my whole body sprayed down with water. It feels so good. So, um, later tonight, I'm going to take a shower, and then in my next video, I'll tell you how it went. But before I close out this video, I want to take a look around and see if anything else has sprouted. All right, I can already tell you that there is basil sprouting. See right there? There's some basil there. There's another little one there. And there's a nice cluster there. And it doesn't look like the deal's coming up. So, let's look at the cilantro. There's none in there. Oh, there is one. I don't know if you can see it because it's in the shade, but there is a cilantro growing right there. And none over there. Let's see if we've got, yes, oregano. We've got an oregano there and an oregano there. Gosh, it's probably hard to see, but it is there. Probably because I'm in the sun. It's there, yep. <laughs> I can't do this without getting in the way of the sun. It's really sunny outside today. Um, any oregano over there? Nope. And none over here. And I've already checked the peppermint, and there is no peppermint. Bummer. Let's look at the tomatoes. Oh, okay. There's one tomato right there. Oh, there's a little tiny one right next to it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. Oh, look. Here, let me get out of the sun. We've got three coming up. It's so hard for me to see if you can see this because it's so sunny. There's three, one, two, three coming up. And that looks like that's all for the tomatoes. And the lettuce is doing great. Tons of lettuce coming up. Absolutely zero spinach. But that's okay. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that it comes, comes up. If it doesn't, I'll just plant something else there. It is such a beautiful sunny day outside today. I'm so happy. My solar is finally, finally getting charged. Thank goodness. And so, you know what? Tomorrow I've got to do some door dashing. Going to get to bed early. Try and get up early. But I'm going to take a beautiful shower. Now, I may end up pulling a bucket in and just sitting it right next to the tub and using a big cup and dumping water over myself. That sprayer is great, but I don't know how I'm going to work it standing up like that unless I had something to secure it with. So uh, I haven't figured that out yet, but all I know is I've got plenty of water. And so I'm going to take a nice, nice shower and soak my feet. I cannot wait. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.